Hey, it's Jessie from Squeegee and Ink and welcome back to Printer's Corner. Printer's Corner is where I take your questions that you've given me over social media and I answer them in a little bit more detail. We've also introduced a new segment on the show called Community Poll, so stick around to the end of the episode to see last week's results. Today's questions are all about maintaining Epson printers for printing your film positives, what ink we use to print the film positives and if there's any special ones, and thirdly, what software we use to draw our designs with. If you have any questions for us, don't forget to use hashtag Printers Corner on any of our social media platforms and I'll be sure to pick those up and answer them like this. Our first question is from Rick Waller 7156 and they said, curious if there is a lot of maintenance on those large printers. Do you have to use it all the time to keep the ink flow in a happy place? He's referring to my large format printer that I use for printing film positives. There isn't a lot of maintenance to the printer, but that's because we're using it constantly. We use it every single day because we're printing film positives for ourselves in the studio. And then we're also supplying lots of other studios with their own film positives as well. So there literally isn't time for the printer to get clogged up or dry the ink in the lines. It's constantly flowing. So the second part of Rick's question was, do you have to use it all the time to keep the ink flow in a happy place? And in my opinion, I think that is, that's the truth. You do need to be using the printer a lot and then the maintenance just drops off because the ink is flowing through anyway. There isn't any room for clogs. And then all you're doing is maybe replacing a maintenance tank once every six months, something like that refilling the cartridges, which you'd have to have done anyway. So that's the reason why I think we have no maintenance on our printer whatsoever, basically. Is it worth you getting a big printer and maintaining it? Or is it worth you sending out for your film positives? That's something up to you. But unless you're using it every day, I would probably consider getting them sent out from another studio so that you don't have to deal with the printer maintenance. Our second question is from Level Headed Press. That's a really good studio name as well. And they said, hi, are you guys using standard Epson ink cartridges or something custom? Thanks for all the helpful content. Beer cheers emoji. We're not using Epson inks because in our opinion and from our research, Epson inks aren't designed for screen printing film positives. Certain people believe that you have to use branded inks for this purpose, but Epson aren't designing UV resistant inks for film. They, they're designing, you know, nice rich inks that are gonna be really good at reproducing artwork on photography and art prints and that type of thing. And that's what they're loading the printers up with. So when I got my latest printer, they gave us all the little Epson inks and I just sold those straight away. And I went straight to the supplier who actually designed or made the inks just for blocking out the UV rays, which is what you're trying to do when you're printing film positives. Um, so that's my biggest piece of advice. Don't waste your money on the very expensive inks. They're no better quality than the ones provided to you by the companies that do refillable cartridges. So in the UK, we have our own suppliers, but in the US, you're going to be looking at someone like Solutions for Screen Printers because they've designed the software, they've figured out which printers are compatible with their software, and they've even supplied the inks and little printers as well and the setups. So um, I'll leave some information in the description below about where you could get your hands on the the best ink, in my opinion, for printing film positives and the whole setup as well. So it just takes all the headache away from like compatibility of printers and all that type of thing. So uh, no, don't use Epson inks. Our third and final question for today is from Ovo Sid, and they said, what app did you use to draw out the design? This was from a video that we did of some puff ink, which was quite fun and we did design that one, I think, and if it was something that we did, we tend to go for vector artwork, which means that we're, we're using and drawing it out in Illustrator. So we might have a sketch, bring it into Illustrator, and then go over it and work out all the lines and fills and that type of thing. So that's the kind of software that we use. 
For a lot of our own brand stuff, we are actually commissioning artists to do it. And sometimes there might be a really good design, but it's not in vector yet. So if it is a vector artwork, or even if it's a raster image, we can separate that using Adobe products, so like Illustrator, Photoshop, or what I tend to do now is I just drag it straight into Separation Studio Next. It does the separations for me, and it doesn't matter if it's a super colorful design or a very simple one. So yeah, I'm using Illustrator to draw things out, and I'm using Separation Studio NXT to do the separations when it comes to actually printing the film positives. So to round up this week's question, which is, should I buy a film positive printer or pay a professional to print my positives for me? And my answer is, if you're printing your own film positives daily or even like a few times a week, then probably get your own printer. If it could be a week, two weeks before your next project turns up and you're using your, your printer again, you need to look at getting someone else to print your positives for you and send them to you and that will just sidestep lots of the issues around print and maintenance that you're going to run into as your lines clog up and the ink just dries in and becomes a nightmare. Community poll. And now it's time for this week's community poll. If you want to cast your vote in our community poll, you simply go to our YouTube channel under the community tab and cast your vote on all of the different polls that we've got running. This week's question was about separating artwork. So the options were about using software to do the separations, just doing it a little bit more old school in Photoshop, um, using a specific separation software, or they send it out for somebody else to do. And a massive 60% said that they use Adobe Photoshop still, which is really interesting because I thought that most images that were coming in were actually vector and illustrator files so it's really um, yeah it's a really good insight to see that actually a lot of people are using Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Printer's Corner. Don't forget to tell me the way that you do things as well in the comments. Ask any future questions by using hashtag Printer's Corner and don't forget to take part in our community poll on our YouTube channel. 